everyone welcome to my channel this is Vijayalakshmi today we are going to discuss about uh, partition method or grouping method using that how we can minimize the DFA many students requested me that uh, this is since it is a 10 to 12 marks question so they are getting confused with table filling algorithm so here using this partition method or grouping method you can cross verify in the exam whether your answer is correct or wrong you can solve it within a minute here so uh, we know that already we have solved many problems uh, on minimization of TFA. This video I am making just to help the video students uh, to check whether their answer is correct or wrong or else they can follow this method itself to find the solution to this problem. So as we all know in table filling how we have done. So here in this grouping method or partition method what we do means given the set of states if you see this table here we have to reduce the number of states in the TFA. So here totally we have states from A to H. So two, four, six, eight states we have. So first step one, what we should do means, first we should divide this into final and non-final states. You have to group the final and the non-final states. So in this problem, if you see, we have only one final state that is C. So rest all are non-final states. So categorize into two groups now. G1, I am considering all non-final states. So which are my non-final states here in this group? We have A, B, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, then G2 group, I am taking all final states. Here I have only one final state. So consider it as one group. So this is the first step. This is step two. Next, what we should do, we should similarly try to partition this group G1 based on the inputs A and B, whether it is going to the same group or whether it is going to the group G2. So whether it, on reading some input A and B, whether it goes to this group G1 or G2, based on that, we are going to again partition this one. So observe now A in this group. A if you observe, you have on A it is going to B and on B it is going to F. B and F both belongs to this group G1. So can you, uh, we, uh, can we divide this as a separate group now. G3 I am taking. So I am putting this A into that group now. So because I have to see how I can partition this group now. Now next observe B. If you observe B here, we have on A it is going to G, on B it is going to C. So it is going, one is non-final and another one is final. So partition this now. See, B on G, it is on G it is going to A, A is in this group. On B it is going to C, C is in another group. So partition now, B is one separate group. So I will just give it name as G4. Okay guys. So now this group only I am partitioning into two now. Now observe D here. D on A where it is going, it is going to final. On B it is going to non-final this is also on uh, a it is going to group g2 on reading g it is going to this group so one final and one non-final falls under which group g4 group so i will put this d under this g4 now okay guys next observe e e on a and b if you observe it is going to h and f h and f are present here itself in this group g2 so which is same as a so what we should do now put a under this e under this group now observe F again. F if you see C and G, one final and one non-final. One final and one non-final. So it belongs to this category. So push F there. Then observe G. G we have G and D. On reading A and B, it is going to G and D. G and D is present in the same group. So it falls under the category G3. So what we have to put now? We are putting G in this group. Next observe H. H you have, on A it is going to G and on B it is going to C. So here one final and one non-final. One final and one non-final. So now it falls under the category G4. So now we split this again into groups, partitioned into uh, four groups now the entire DFA. Okay guys, now again observe, is there any possibility to partition this group now? If you observe A and E, observe A, E, G, on A where to which groups it is going. If you observe A, on A and B, it is going to BF. So it is going to BF, both are in this group only. So now we will try to split. So I uh, removed A now. Observe E now. E on A, it is going to BH. Okay. It is going to BH. So E on A, it is going to H. H belongs to this group. And on B, it is going to F. F also belongs to this group. So here A and H, BF. Both are going to this group only. 
So E, e also falls under the same group. Now observe G here. If you observe G, here on A it is going to group G. Group G is G2. Sorry. On A it is going to, here G is going to G. And on B it is going to E. So here where is G? G is in this. <coughs> G belongs to this group. And on E it is going to the same group. So on reading A and B it is going to the same group. But here if you observe A, on reading A and uh, A and B, it is going to this group, PF. So now we have to partition this group. G also falls, is a separate group. A and D, on reading input A and B, it is going to the group G4. But G is going to the group, this G3 group. So we are partitioning A, E and G as one separate group now. Like this. So give the group name here, it, it is G5 and G6. Okay guys, next observe this. How we can partition? The same way you observe. B on A, A and B where it is going. On A it is going to group G. And on B it is going to group C. So now we partition. Remove it B separately. And next observe D. D if you observe. On A it is going to C. And on B it is going to G. See on reading A it is going to final state. On reading B it is going to non-final. So this falls under a separate group. So take D, separate group. Now again observe F. So here we have F here. F you observe, F also on A it is going to final and on B it is going to G. Okay, which is same as D. So this F also falls under this group. So F is, F and G, F and D if you observe, see F and D if you observe, on A it is going to C, C. On B it is going to G, G. So both falls under one group. Okay, guys. Then you have H. H if you observe, on A it is going to G. Okay. On A it is going to G. So here we have G. And on B it is going to C. G2. Same as B. B also we saw on A it was going to G and B. On B it was going to C. So here B and H falls under the same category. So now we have partitioned the group as how now? G6, G7, G8. Totally we have partitioned into how many groups now? Eight groups. So what are the states we got finally? Finally we got the states A, E, B, H, D, F, G and one more state here G2. C, what is, that is not final, a final state group. So totally how many states we got? Totally five states we got. Say like this in partitioning, this trick you have to follow in the exam. You have solved the problem using table filling algorithm for 10 marks. You want to cross verify whether your answer is right or wrong. So if you follow this method easily, you within a one minute you can get the solution. If you are able to easily partition the group, just one minute you can identify what are the states present in the DFA. So once your states are ready now, so here we got how many states here? Totally our 8 states got reduced to 5 states. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So for this what you should do now? Just construct the DFA. That's all your answer is ready. So you need not worry about whether my answer is right or wrong. So here construct the DFA. That is we have AE one state. AE. And what are the other states we have? BH, DF. BH, DF. C. And G. Okay guys. So here observe A. A on A where it is going? It is going to B. B is in this group. On A it is going to B. A on B where it is going? It is going to F. F is present in this group. So here on B it is going to F. And similarly observe B and H. So it will be applicable for E also same. B and H if you observe. Or B on A it is going to G. So B on A it is going to G. B on B it is going to C. B on B it is going to C. And D on A. D on A it is going to C. D on B it is going to G. And C. C on A it is going to A. C on A it is going to A. And 
C on B, it is self loop. C itself. That is B. Okay, then. Then G, if you observe, G on A, it is going to G. That is self loop. And G on B, it is going to E. So, E is present here. On B, it is going to E. Okay, then. Now, which is our final state? Since C is the final state here in our DFA, here also C only will be our final state. And this is our starting state. See guys, within a one minute, we got the solution just by using the partition method. So, totally we got how many states now? Five states. Hope you have understood. Please don't forget to subscribe and like. And I will be doing like this one minute uh, solutions for the next coming video exams easily where you can score the marks and pass the subject. Thank you guys.